Hey guys, you're watching, you want to know, Lee. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a City. Now, summer is sort of nearly here, it feels. Today, in fact, is the first hot day that we've had in the UK, at least that I've sort of classed as a hot day. Uh, in fact, it was the first night that I had to sleep on top of the covers because I was really warm, really, really hot last night. I had to sleep on top and uh, boy did I know about it, that's for sure. Now, which one is it? This one. Um, it's also the first day that I'm actually not wearing any socks. I'm actually bare feet right now recording this video because my feet get really hot really, really quickly. So I thought, seeing as though it's getting towards summer, why not build an airport? Summer's probably going to be the most busiest time for our little island city here. All the tourists are going to come over for the awesome, amazing beaches that we will eventually have. So, uh, airports uh, are actually not that interestingly designed. When you look, if you Google airports, you'll get a lot of um, airport terminals that are just giant squares. Like one of the biggest ones here in the UK, if not the biggest one, is Heathrow Airport. And I had a look at Heathrow Airport's terminal and it's just a box. It's <laughs> There's no interesting design or flow or, or artistic flair to it, which makes it very boring to do in Minecraft. So we're going to have to go away from the realm of realism a little bit to make an interesting looking terminal. Now I am fully prepared of doing some drastic terraforming here because this is definitely not a big enough area to do a runway let alone an airport in and I think what we're going to have to do is I want the runway to go from here-ish, take this little mound away, from here-ish and go that way. So that way the planes have a nice clear view in front of them and a clear view behind them. They don't have to get up over these sort of mountainy bits on the side. But that does mean extending out this island quite a fair bit, I'm going to imagine, to be able to compensate for it. So if the runway goes down there, we're going to want to have a little area here for the planes to be able to uh, park and uh, and taxi around in fact we might i might sort of cut away a bit of the mound there so we can go oops, further that way which leaves this area here for a car park which again will be terraformed out to be bigger but basically what i'm saying is here is going to be where our terminal is going to be but we need to plan this out. This isn't an easy one to try and do. I think we're going to need some white snow, a very modern feel, very modern block. We're going to want some blank slabs for the roof. The roof's going to be one of the most artistic parts of the building. We're going to want to have some clay. I'm thinking about like a cyan clay and at least one wood type. You know what we've done with the KFC? We had that wood to really set off a little area of it. We're going to do the same thing, but I think I want to mix maybe two, maybe even three three wood types together on these artistic bits. The front of it is majority going to be snow, the sides and the back is majority going to be glass. Uh, I'm thinking maybe just normal glass, uh, maybe a stained glass, I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm going to go with normal glass for the moment. We can always change it up. We're also going to need some walls. Uh, to do some cool pillars, and I think I've got a sort of picture of, of, of or, or pictures of different airports here, and I think at least to begin with, we're going to start with that. This road is probably going to change its angle. It's probably going to curve around to the airport to the the car park here. So I'm not really that worried about where the door is going to be quite yet. Um, and I'm not really bothered about how far back we go either. I can always terraform it. That's the great thing about Minecraft is you can always change the, la the lay of the land. So let's just do a line first. I don't know how many blocks this is. I, I can't even count this quick, let alone while talking. Uh, but I'm going to do a, a sort of line out here. And I think I want it to go a little bit more this way, just by a few blocks, something like that. And... I think I'm probably going to want it to come out a little bit further that way. So we are already, with the terminal alone, going to go actually over the edge of the mountain here. I think roughly here is where I want a bit of artistic flair to start. So I'm going to do, I think, three block gap in between these. So it's going to be five blocks high of cyan clay uh, total. And then it's going to sort of come out here. And then bend around the corner a little bit. Just a slight amount by, uh, what's this, one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. It's going to sort of come around the corner. And then I'm going to join these two up together. And already that's going to add a little bit of an artistic shape to it. A little bit more interesting styling. Uh, we're going to want the white 
to sort of go up here over the top but not all the way to the corner I'm gonna go to here that seems or that one eh, no that one I think that one's good and it's gonna come up here like this now this is gonna go up to what is gonna be sort of the main height of the white section that goes across and I think that is probably a perfect height so this is actually gonna go all the way to, oops all the way down to the other side where I think we're gonna have another or, or uh, the corner now do I want any glass going around this corner probably not I think I want to have this going up here now I will count out for you guys how wide this is because I know you like to one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38 blocks of white. We happy now? I think we're happy now. Okay, um, we're going to want to add some more sort of artistic flair down the side here. So I think I'm going to go somewhere towards the middle. In fact, let's count out one, two, three. Fill those in for a minute. And then have a door in here. Let's say three blocks wide and then add another th three blocks here. Like that, and then let's say the top of the door for the moment is there. So that's going to be a four block by three block wide doorway. We'll put some glass around it and, and, and stuff like that later on, but definitely no point doing it now. Now that allows us to put in this, which we, we want to have uh, five blocks wide high in, in total. I've got hiccups. I hate hiccups. And then uh, we can have another doorway in on this side. Well, maybe not a doorway in on this side maybe just keep it blank on this side maybe with some smaller windows I'm gonna come out another couple of blocks and then drop this down here and then come down like that and then that part is gonna probably just be complete white I don't know yet. I'm not 100% sure now in this area of clay this is where these three woods are gonna come in now what I'm thinking is there's a few ways that we can do it we can either have some sort of wooden pattern to it so it's like three blocks, two blocks, three blocks, two blocks. Or we can randomize it. Now, I really like the sound of it being randomized, but it is a little bit harder to do. But I think, it, I think it'll look good in the end. So I want something like this. Yeah, see, something like that. And then that one and that one. Put some, oops, I want oak in here oak like that and birch spruce birch see some it's just a little bit detail should I set that back a block though should I actually move that back in or leave it on that sort of on the same face as the uh, as the gray let's try moving it back in one see if we like it or not I can always undo it so let's take this I'm going to stand right here, cut it, that will remove the middle, move it forward, paste it there. That's what it looks like one block set back. I think I actually prefer that. It gives a little bit of shadow, a little bit of extra sort of color to it. And I think that looks pretty nice. So we want to do the same thing down here. So let's go with some spruce. I can do it one block back already. And if I could tell you a sort of pattern I would but it's, there's really nothing to it it's just a matter of trying to do it as randomly as you possibly can uh, the more random it is the better um, but it is really hard not to go to patterns really hard not to go to patterns you, your brain will automatically deliberately try and do it even if you don't want it to uh, 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 like that It's like, uh, like one of them um, wooden puzzles that I have. <laughs> and you got to fold them all around in a certain way. Okay, that looks totally awesome. That's a really nice sort of modern, sleek look. Obviously, we're going for a much more modern city this time than compared to our last one, uh, which is going to require a little bit more thinking in some sections. Now, the glass is going to be a tricky part to do. In fact, it might be best to have a white line going around this and then having the glass set on top of that 
so we could have it going down here like this all the way down to what is our ground floor and then it comes down here now obviously we don't want it to be glass all the way around that's boring we want to have some sort of shape to it uh, I think that's a little bit maybe too wide I'm gonna take it back by a couple of blocks yeah, that's about right. So we're going to have um, some, some cool design parts on the side here. Nothing too complicated, uh, but very important to make the whole room look, uh, the whole build look a lot better. I'm just going to do a pillar up there. Then we're going to run along the back here. We can start to see on the map as well how big this is sort of looking. And I think we've got a pretty sort of good size. Not too bad. Obviously, everything can be changed if, if we're not quite happy. But at the moment, I'm... I'm feeling good about it. So we'll have this coming out here. Whoops. And like that. Again, I want something like that, but not symmetrical. So I'm going to do it over here instead. And it doesn't even have to be the same height. I'm going to go up to that height. It might be the same height. It might not. I'm really not that bothered. Uh, glass is sort of going to fill in most of the middle. But what I'm going to want to do is maybe have a black. Actually, yeah, black. Or like a stone. That's just off black. Yeah. So we'll have this black go to the end. I think that's in line. It's really hard to tell sometimes. And then have this going around here. Whoops. So we're going to drag this all the way back. My finger's clicking so fast. <laughs> I got in a right rhythm then. And all the way to the end, one more block down this side. And then we want to go all the way to that white section again, which is only to here, like that. And then there's actually going to be another glass layer on top of this, a thinner one, two blocks high. I'm sort of going to have a, a guess at on the front. On the back, it might be a little bit higher, but you, you, you'll sort of see where I'm going to lead with this. Uh, in a, just a moment's time. I'm going to add two blocks to the top and I'm going to put this line going just down the front, not around the other sides, not yet. Okay, so this is where the roof is sort of the main feature of the uh, the airport. It's the only sort of part of detail that we can really add in a really cool way because airport terminals are square. I can add some buildings coming off it if we've got the room, I might have to take away a lot of that mountain, but I can always terraform it up and change it how I sort of envision it a little bit more. So, we're going to have these slabs as the roof. They're nice clean block. They look really cool. And uh, we can do a really cool curve. I want like basically an S on the side. Well, basically a backwards S on the side. So, I'm going to just add, do a small section of it. Maybe three blocks wide all the way down. And uh, we want it to sort of come out like this and then oops up it's really hard to tell because they're so clean the blocks are so clean and uh, you can't really see too much but this is going to come out and over the top maybe one more So it goes, it's going to go down. That might be, that might be too many. No, I'm going to keep it like that for the minute. It's going to go down. Then it's going to go up. Then it's going to come down. But not all the way down from the other side. So what we're going to want to do is, is that the right number? Yeah, that's that. Then this one. Then probably another set of two. And then start going back up again. So this one. That one, that one, this one, this one. Now we want to go about to the same height as that one, which I think is just one block more. I think we've got this pretty well spaced out. And then at the top here, we're going to want to go with like four blocks, I'm going to assume, something like that. And then start dropping it back down again. Now, have we come across enough? I think so. I think we're pretty good. Now, how many blocks do I have in the middle here? Do I have four yet? One, two, three, four. Yeah, perfect. I've frozen. My world is frozen. What have I done? Okay, I'm back. I don't know what happened. <laughs> so we can start coming back down again. One, two, underneath. One, two, 
underneath one two underneath one two and i think that's good that's one block over the edge it's perfectly lined up i think that's pretty good and like i said are we at the same height we might one one two two and a half blocks that's really annoying because that's actually gonna uh, inhibit us so i might have to just change up that end one to be like that and then put the slab on top like that take these ones away yeah i think that's the way that we're going to have to sort of curve around or do that 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 oops that and add one more to the top here instead so it's five blocks along the top with three in the middle you see then i could maybe add another one like that yeah, I think that's I think that's as close as what we're gonna get. Obviously, we can hide the fact that this block is here by going one block wider. Run this around the edge, and then it sort of hangs over a little bit, like you do with uh, a normal house roof. You know, you always hang it over one block wider than the edge. It's just sort of a, a Minecraft must do, and then that's gonna go all the way along the top of the building and hang over the other side so i am fortunate enough that i can copy and paste this to do it you guys uh, are gonna have to do it by hand but it's really not that hard once you get the curve done uh, it should sort of half do it by itself so let's uh copy paste minus a and run this all the way down whoops nothing <laughs> has it gone wrong yet down here at least i haven't looked at it we can start i think that's just a lighting glitch start to see on the map now a cool sort of curved looking part with the light yeah no no it's sort of working now obviously we want to add some detail to this roof because we're using such a plain blank uh blocks I need to add one more. Uh, because we're using such plain blank uh, roof blocks here, it all sort of blends into one. You can see the curve, but not as prominently as I would like. Uh, so what we're going to have to do is add some sort of other block to the top here. Maybe even break a few of the uh, slab roof here to uh, to get them to fit in. But it should... Oops. No. It should start to sort of all stand out a little bit more. Okay, looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the top until later on, though. I'm going to focus more on the underside here, where we're going to use some more uh, wood. Oh, look at that pet pattern that I created. It shouldn't be like that. <laughs> it should be like this. Okay. Um, in fact, I can do this quicker, can't I? Boop. Two. There. Set snow block and do the same down this side before I forget. Might as well do it now. All the way down the other side. Yeah, I like that. That should have some glass going nicely over the oops. Over the top of that, which would be nice. Um yeah. Wood. Wood part was the next part. So we want to have something like this. Now this is what I mean. From the top, we're gonna start to see some wood poking out. We'll hide that up later on. It shouldn't really affect us oops, too much for the moment. And that one, I think just to there. And then maybe grabbing some slabs or some oops, or some stairs of the same variety. I don't know which one yet. I'm, thinking, I'm more leaning towards slabs. Something like that. It sort of makes it all look the same width then. All the way down. And then underneath these, we're going to want to have some sort of cobblestone wall. Which I got rid of earlier, apparently. Some sort of cobblestone wall holding this up. Now, these are slabs. Which means they don't quite connect up properly. But these are full blocks, so they connect up perfectly. So let's run it down here. All the way down to the bottom. And then... Yeah, that's where the ground will be. Eventually, that's where the ground will be. It looks a little bit too spindly, too spindly thin at the moment. So we're going to want to sort of thicken it up a little bit. I think at the bottom and the top, um, or maybe just the bottom, maybe from about here downwards. In fact, I was thinking about using some uh, pillar quartz to do this. 
underneath and then go up to maybe around there one more block maybe another one yeah i think that's pretty good and then we can use that to go all the way along i don't know how many we can fit in because we maybe should have but i didn't plan out exactly how many blocks like across it would be to space out uh, but i think i could probably get away with selecting all of this let's get rid of that one and that one and then from there to there i'm gonna stand right here on what would be the ground level i'm gonna copy it right in front i don't know if i've set that up completely correctly come over here make sure we're still in line and we wanted, what was it, one block or two blocks away from the edge? I can't remember. <laughs> I, tried to, I tried to keep it in my mind. Um, two blocks in from the edge. Over here. I don't know if I've done this right. Uh, that's in line. Two blocks in will be right here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it here. Paste minus A. Okay, looks good. We copied like the white and the black, but that's not really too much of a of a problem. I I I wish that this was bigger. I wish I could come out here. Maybe we can. Maybe I can do some sort of funky design. Oh, it's so close to being likable. Oh, no, I like that. I like that. Imagine that hanging over on either side. How did I do that? That one and that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, so then let's space these out. Um, I'm going to say every one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Let's have eight blocks between. And paste there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right here. And then go from the other side. Ugh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, undo. One block too far, over. Paste. That's right in front of the door. Maybe I should move the door over a little bit. If I put the door in the middle there, it would probably make more sense, wouldn't it? How would it for time? Oh, wow. Well, we're like out of time. Okay. Um, fill in that one. Oops. That would come along here. Well, obviously, that would all be filled in nicer. That one. Oops. That one. That one. Take these out. Take that one out. <laughs> A little bit more fixing than I thought, but it doesn't mean, uh, I'm not going to complain yet. Um, this one. And take those ones out. Okay, beautiful. So I think that's pretty good. Imagine moving the door over. We can extend that a little bit further. Or maybe even just move the whole lot over by a few blocks. Move that over. And I think that'll be good. But for one episode, I think we've done quite well. It's a very cool start to it. There's some more. I want to really add another building. I think we're actually going to have to take away a lot of this mountain to be able to fit it in. But it's so cool to have an airport on the top of a mountain. There's nothing better than that. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode.